podcasting from the Chicagoland area. This is Game On with Jackson Stewart, where we discuss men's lifestyle, focusing on sex, fitness, relationships, business, and more. We'll be interviewing the best of the best, the hot shots, and the rising stars in the worlds of modeling, fitness, cooking, and more. Influencers who are discussing keeping it sexy while at the top of their game. I'm your host, Jackson Stewart. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the game. This is Dale Valor. This is Pamela Ross. This is Trinesia. And you're listening. And you're listening to Game On with Jackson Stewart. To Game On with Jackson Stewart. Game On with Jackson Stewart. Killing them! Follow Game On with Jackson Stewart on YouTube at Game On with Jack, on the official blog www.gameonwithjack.blog and at the new store www.gameonwithjack.shop. Keep it sexy and game on. Time takes a toll on everyone, they say. Time is merciless, it won't wait for us to change. Time. I am stressing out, I can't figure out what to say, oh, time, just give us time, time, looking back on pictures, and I find it hard to see, you, and myself in places, where we used to be, oh, time, we got older, babe, and I want to stay with you. Don't get time for games. Now what you want to do? Just tell me now if you will go with me all the way. Every night, every day, promise will never change. Are you going to love me? Good people, sexy people, welcome to another edition of Game Out with Jackson Stewart. I'm your host, and as always, I appreciate you guys taking time out to check out the show. A couple things I want to direct you to definitely check out youtube.com forward slash game out with Jack, patreon.com slash game out with Jack, the blog game out with Jack dot blog. And please make sure you take a couple of minutes to sign up because you get automatically from the little pop up that uh, jumps up on the blog sign up for that you get emailed to you your free copy of the 15 confidence commandments and um just more cool stuff that is going to be on its way follow me on twitter also known as x at game on with jack and uh you can catch me on the game on with jack that shop site where all the players go to get the things that players get <laughs> all right tonight we are talking about 10 ways to relieve holiday stress for men and previously, um, previously we had talked about like the stress of getting together with family, and we had uh, we had answered some of the questions. Uh, we had to ask Jack with some holiday questions, and I've got some that I did not get to, so I promise to get to those on a future show. I can't believe the holidays are literally right on the corner. That's crazy. And um, tonight's show is going to be about stress, like when you're by yourself. This isn't stress from going to go see people. This isn't stress from going to go, um, you know, the shopping or something. This is just like the holidays can trigger this stress for you. This is almost like you're sitting at home by yourself and just boom, the holiday stress pops up and threatens to eat you whole. So I wanted to welcome you guys back to the show tonight as we dive into that really relevant topic because holiday seasons 
can be brutal, you know? And like I said, this is the show where it's just about you, not about the impact others have on you, but how to manage stress for men, because the holidays can be a wonderful time, right? Filled with family and friends and and festivities. But I mean, let's be honest, the holidays can be stressful as hell. From juggling finances to navigating family dynamics, um, just the pressure can build quickly, okay? So we all become little powder kegs as we try and deal with the holidays. And here are 10 ways to help you relieve that stress. So you can stay cool, calm, collected, all through the holiday season. And, um, you know, not just for the people around you that care about you, but for yourself, because that's what you deserve. You deserve to enjoy the holidays stress-free, not be having a heart attack, not spaz, no, but to enjoy it. I think a lot of guys, we bear the brunt of everything. We try and make sure everybody gets the right gift. We try and make sure everybody gets to the right party. We try and bring the best food or the best drink. And it's, it's a lot, man. And so I just, these are for you to be better for yourself. All right. So some of these are repeat from last episode because there was an overlap on, you know, handling your crazy ass family and how to handle just overall stress uh, for the holidays. So first up, manage your expectations. The holidays often come with unrealistic expectations. You're trying to be in two places at the same time. You're trying to buy everybody the perfect gift. And these expectations come from both within and outside of ourselves. This can lead to disappointment, frustration. And so instead of aiming for a perfect holiday, focus on creating meaningful moments with loved ones. Let go of the pressure to have everything to be perfect. Um, enjoy the imperfections. Like, you know, you burn the damn turkey, whatever, big deal. You had to order pizza. Uh, you went out for Chinese food. Um, you got stuck in the snow a little bit. Like, you got to learn to embrace the imperfections because that is the spontaneity of life. That is the thing that you can't plan or, you know, schedule or, or, or put down in your, your smartphone, but accept it and enjoy it. <coughs> Excuse me. And as long as it doesn't affect people you care about or yourself, just go with it, man. Roll with it. So those imperfections, manage them. They're fine. So next up, we've got number two on our 10 ways to handle your holiday stress. Um, delegate and say no, all right? Like, that's so important. Don't be afraid to delegate tasks during the holidays. If you're feeling overwhelmed, ask your friends and family for help with cooking, decorating, shopping, running errands, whatever it is. Like, you don't have to be the holiday Swiss army knife. You don't have to do it all. And this kind of goes back to managing your expectations. It's okay to say no. Um, it's okay to say you can't handle additional commitments that might add to your stress. It's okay to be human. I think a lot of guys think that to be a man around the holidays, you have to be Superman. No, you can just be a man. You can just be a human. Relax. Give it up. Give up some stuff that's not going to make you weak. And if people think you're weak because you couldn't go to 18 stores in the amount of time it takes to go to 10 stores... Well, screw them. <laughs> they don't get a gift. They're, they shouldn't be on your list anyway. You don't want that kind of, of judgment, right? Because that's not what the holidays is about. Number three in our top 10 ways to relieve holiday stress for men, embrace the power of a budget. Ooh, the B word. <laughs> because financial stress is a major contributor to holiday anxiety. Uh People overspend, people lose their minds. I mean, it's okay to spend a little bit more than you expected, but you want to be able to handle it. And by handle it, I don't mean just you can financially afford to pay it off, but it's not going to keep you up at night. It's not going to turn your stomach. It's not going to, you know, spin your nerves up. So set a realistic budget for gifts, for travel, uh, for other expenses before the season begins and leave a little, you know, miscellaneous spending because stuff's going to pop up that you can't possibly foresee. Stick to your budget, avoid impulsive spending, right? Cause that's what gets us, especially when we're stressed out. We're like, fuck it. I need that, that, uh, that Rolex or that expensive bottle of whiskey or scotch and just 
embrace the power of a budget. If you can't afford something that doesn't make you less of a person, if you go back to our, uh, to the f amazing episode and interview, um, with Kimsey from just a couple weeks ago, um, we're talking about money and just the emotion, right. That gets put with money and which is both the shame of what you think is your failings or, or misgivings or shortcomings with money to the highs of having money, like dump all that. The budget's cold, cold numbers. Either you can or you can't and let it be what it is. All right. Uh, number four, as we're dealing with uh, handling our stress during the holidays, focus on gratitude. And this might be one of the most important of the 10, if not the most important. So cultivating an attitude of gratitude, and yes, that does rhyme, um, can significantly reduce stress. All right. So take time each day to appreciate the good things in your life, both big and small. This simple practice can shift your perspective and boost your mood. So uh, me personally, every day, your man Jack wakes up and I have a gratitude journal. I even made one like like some people order one and that's cool. Some people, hey, just get a regular blank journal. All right. And just write down today's date. And just make a list of 10 things and write 10 things you, you appreciate. And every day is going to have um, repetition. You know, you should be grateful for another day. Well, that's going to pop up every day. You can keep writing it. Uh, you're grateful for your loved ones. You're grateful for your health, for, for the money you do have. Like, it's okay to list the same things every day because you have things every day to be grateful for. But you're going to have some things that are unique about Tuesday that you didn't have last Thursday or whatever it is. Write it down. Why do we do this? Because if you are focused on being grateful, it's very difficult to exist in the mindset to the contrary. It's very difficult to exist in the mindset of sorrow or scarcity or lack when you're focusing on all the things that you have. And I guarantee you it will lift your spirit for the holidays. It puts you closer to the true holiday spirit than anything else. Being grateful. Now, Players, I'm going to tell you, you're going to be in the minority in this thinking. There are going to be people who are miserable every step of the way for the holidays. And when they see you feeling good, they're going to try and pull you down. What the hell are you so happy for? Uh, aren't you Christmas shopping? Don't you have a bunch of stuff? Yeah, I'm Christmas shopping and doing the best I can and some things I can't get and whatever. But I'm grateful because I am able to go to the mall to buy something. I am able to log on to Amazon and buy something. The fact that you have a smartphone that can shop for you puts you in a situation better than so much of the rest of the population on the planet. And it's not to gloat like, oh, look what I can do. But like just we get caught up in the trap of what's next, what's next, what's next, next level, next level, next level. And I know I talk about the next level here, but here for me to talk about the next level is about you evolving you adding to who you are as a man. But I also want you to know that you can reach for more while embracing what you have. So be grateful, guys. I mean, really, being grateful is so powerful. I kid you not. And watch, the more you're grateful, the more things you will have to be grateful for, okay? Number five in our 10 ways to relieve holiday stress for men. I know you guys are like, where's sex at, Jack? <laughs> well, this is close. Prioritize physical activity. <laughs> Exercise releases endorphins. Endorphins have mood boosting effects. You feel good. Um, you, you think better. You're just like in like almost just like a mm, just chill, relaxed kind of vibe. Aim for at least 30 minutes of moderate intensity exercise uh, most days of the week. It could be a brisk walk, especially if it's cold as hell. You can hit the gym. You can walk out at home. Consider something like yoga, Pilates. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be like just hardcore, like grunting and hitting and throwing metal around. But find an activity you enjoy and incorporate it into your routine. And yes, this includes sex. <laughs> This includes maybe a, you know, in between shopping, you go home and you masturbate, whatever 
it now I don't want you to masturbate for 30 minutes because you might hurt yourself, but you want to get some positive physical activities. And it can't just be like, oh, I went to the gym today and I'm good for the week. No, you shower every day, I hope. So every day you need to do a physical activity because not only does it release endorphins, but it reconnects you with your body. Remember, our bodies are not here to serve us. We're not here to beat the shit out of them like cars that get us from A to B. Our bodies are ours and we are the stewards of our bodies. We're supposed to take care of them. Um, you know, that's what being healthy about is about. You're not working out so you get awesome gym muscles. You're working out because you're taking care of your body. So re reestablish that connection and enjoy it. Number six, fuel your body with nutritious foods. What, Jack? What about grandma's caramel cake? I know, man. Caramel cake is fucking delicious. Um, <laughs> what you eat directly affects your mood and your energy levels. I know. There's a lot of food going around in the holidays that's delicious and it's not good for you. That's fine. Eat it. <laughs> but make sure you also choose whole unprocessed foods like fruits and vegetables and lean proteins and whole grains and all that healthy stuff that you know you need to be eating. Um, don't forget your protein shakes. If you're working out, go back to step five about the physical activity. Yes. Limit your intake of sugar and processed foods and excessive alcohol because those things, while they're delicious as all hell, and they can be kind of seasonal because shit, you put like a, uh, a Santa decorated sugar cookie in front of me and watch me eat the hell out of that thing. Um, but all things in moderation, even a little excess, but just don't go overboard every day. Every party, you're eating like a pig, you're drinking like a like an alcoholic, and, and I don't mean to make fun of alcoholism, I'm just saying you're drinking a lot, you're eating too much, a little bit of that. But make sure you're still taking care of yourself. Like, if you know you got a big holiday party uh, tonight, Maybe in the morning you eat light or maybe you're doing inter intermittent fasting. I love it, but it's hard for me to say it. Um, a light salad at lunch, then at dinner, go, go ham, go full boring, go into it. But every meal of your day should not be destroying <laughs> your body. <laughs> I know it's hard because we equate the holidays with just excess and, and a wild time. And that's cool, but don't overdo it. At least don't overdo it all the time. Uh, step seven, make time for relaxation. I know you guys thought I, would, I wasn't going to mention sex and here it is. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding, but I'm kind of not. But anyway, you got to relax. Um, the holidays are horribly stressful, just brutal. And, you know, you almost feel like you're going to bump into yourself coming and going. Um, you're going to be walking in one party and coming out the other. I, I get it. And it, it's hard. And it happens to all of us. We get so booked up and we don't want to say no. And we're focusing more on what we need to get and not on gratitude. And we're not taking care of our bodies. And next thing you know, we can't relax. And we're all spun up. But no, you got to make time for relaxation. So schedule regular breaks throughout the day to de-stress and recharge. Um, practice mindfulness techniques like meditation, deep breathing, or yoga. I, I challenge you to find one device that does not have some deep breathing app or application on it. I bought a smartwatch um, a couple months ago. And, you know, it's a dirt cheap smartwatch because I'm terrible with smartwatches. Sure as hell. Damn thing's got a built-in app that helps me, you know, breathe properly. Um your phone, how many apps could you download that are to help focus on being calm and being mindful and being in the moment? You may not subscribe to, you know, the full blown Eastern um, ideologies behind this stuff, but you still do it. All right. There's doctors in modern science and uh, modern medicine today that will tell you there is no denying the benefit of relaxation techniques of deep breathing of yoga all right and if you're worried well jack i don't know where to start i'm not that flexible and blah 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 it's bullshit reasons go to uh, everybody's got a five below biome and i'm just saying this i'm not getting any, any commission for it go to five below they got a kick-ass yoga section i kid you not go to target 
I love Target. Um, you could drop 20 bucks. You can have a mat. You could have a yoga block. And then you go and guess what? There's a free thing called YouTube. Make an account. Look up yoga techniques. Look up yoga techniques for men. My good friend Ariana, who you should hear this because you better be listening to every episode. <laughs> um, she turned me on to Pilates for men. There's a great guy out there, John Gary. I really want to get him on the show. John, if you're listening, get on the show. I, I really enjoy your stuff. But he has videos that are beginning Pilates for men. I do it at least once or twice a week. It makes my strength training days so much easier. Um, so, yeah, relaxation, guys. Come on. You know, maybe you um, spend time in, in nature. Like I said, go for a brisk walk. This all goes back to the physical activity. And, you know, all these all these tips kind of loop together. But take a walk. You know, connecting with nature has been shown clinically to reduce stress, to reduce those stress hormones that run in our body especially during the holidays, the cortisol that, and I'm not a doctor, but this is proven. I'm just quoting facts. As you stress out, your body produces um, cortisol and other stress hormones. Those stress hormones get in the way of your normal white cell production. Your white cells in your blood are what fights off um, infections, viruses, etc. As you stress out, your body stops protecting itself as well. That's why you get damn sick on the holidays all the time. So, relax. Go out there, reconnect with nature. Um, take a warm bath. Take a nice hot shower. Read a book. Do whatever helps you relax and unwind. And here's the thing. Some people look busy but they are relaxing and un unwinding. For example, some people like to maybe do a puzzle. They like to write. They like to read. They like to run. And it looks like you're busy and you are busy, but that is how you relax. So we all relax differently. Don't let people relax shame you. I think that's a thing. Do what you got to do to feel good. And that's very important. Uh, number eight, connect with love ones that's a double-edged sword because maybe they're the ones stressing your ass out um social connections are essential for mental health um it's been shown time and time again that as human beings we are social creatures and we seek each other out um so while it's easy to get tired and ran down and to isolate don't do it don't don't let that pattern take over because you might feel like you're helping yourself in some Self-care and slash isolation is good, but too much alone time uh, can be damaging when you're really stressed out. So spend quality time with family and friends during the holidays, especially people that um, they reignite you. You know, like I was stressed out just last week. I called a buddy of mine up, a guy that he's like a brother to me, and I know he's just going to be a good time. And um, I say, hey, can, can we meet for a beer, man? I just need to get out. I just need to connect. We met up. We had a blast. It was just simple. We went out to dinner and we laughed and told stories and had a couple of beers and it was cool. You know, that's what I needed. But just at one time isn't going to do it. So, I mean, I'm not going to go out with him every night, but I need to socialize. And we all do. We need to socialize with people, whether it be phone calls, video chats, text messaging, face to face, whatever. Um, go connect with people that you care about and people that care about you and people that rejuvenate you because some people care about you and you care about them, but they suck the life out of you. And not so much with those people, more with the other people. So yeah, spend quality time with family and friends during the holidays, uh, share meals, play games, enjoy meaningful conversations. Just have fun, man. Just, just, just reconnect, get that vibe back. Because these connections are going to provide support, laughter, and a sense of belonging. And the people that really care about you, that know you can help ground you when you're going through the shit, all right? When you're just like, I don't know what I'm doing, you know, and, and you can't see the forest for the trees, life is terrible, and you're all in it, they can say, hey, man, go, let me pull you back a little bit and calm you down, all right? So, number nine, set boundaries. <laughs> it's important to set healthy boundaries with family members friends, etc. work. 
especially during stressful periods like the holidays. Everybody wants a piece of you. Mom, grandma, dad, grandpa, your brother, your sister, your, your son, your daughter, your wife, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whoever, work, community center, strippers. I mean, everybody wants a little piece of you because, you know, you kick ass, you give off a vibe, they're stressed out, and they, they need somebody to reignite them, so they're seeking you out. You're reliable. You're a player. Shit, you listen to Game Out with Jackson Stewart. You're good. Everybody wants a little piece of that. So communicate your needs clearly and respectfully. Like say, hey, look, I can't, I can't make the 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 uh, the two day Christmas outing or whatever. I I can't make that meeting after five. I, I gotta take some time off. Whatever. You can be respectful, you know, like, hey, go F yourself. I'm not doing it. But just, guys, I can't be. I already got something going on that time. I can't make it. But I can do. You know, it's it's easier for people to swallow that they can't get a piece of you tomorrow if they know they can get a piece of you Thursday or Wednesday or whatever it is. So boundaries, respectfully, but set them and stick to them. Don't let somebody go, well, but what about you? And you cave in because once you cave in, and they know you cave in, they will keep pushing all the time. Don't be afraid to say no to unwanted requests or activities that drain your energy. Because when you fall apart, then what? Last but not least, number 10 in tonight's top 10 ways to relieve holiday stress for men. Practice self-compassion. What the hell is that? Um, be kind to yourself during the holidays. Don't compare your life or circumstances or your abilities to get shit done to others. Accept that mistakes happen and setbacks are normal. Um, you're going to be late to a party. You're going to buy the wrong gift. You're going to forget an outing. You're going to, and you may not be have. No, 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 I can't talk. You may not have the energy to be the you everybody is used to. You may have to cancel showing up for something. You may forget an event, whatever it is. Just forgive yourself. Move on. I'd say forgive yourself is just even too strong. It's not, you didn't just push a bus of orphans off a cliff. You, you made a mistake. Get over it. It happens. Just say, oops, I'm sorry. One thing I've learned too, it's nice to tell people, thank, instead of saying thank you for being patient, or no, instead of saying, um, sorry I'm late or sorry I can make it, thank them for being patient. Hey guys, thanks for being patient. Um, you know, something popped up, time got away from me, but here I am, let's move on, let's have a good time. Forgive yourself, for lack of a better word, and learn from your experiences. Treat you like you treat other people. Hopefully you don't treat other people like shit. But when people make mistakes that affect you, if you're kind, if you're accepting, if you go, it's no big deal. You're here. We waited for you for a little bit. Hey, get over it. Let's have a good time. Be that person to you. All right. I believe if you wrap all of these 10 tips together, you are guaranteed to have a great holiday season. Um, I think first and foremost, don't give up your power. You know, if you have a sucky ass holiday season, it's it's on you. It's your fault. Now, granted, I mean, if something horrible happens, <clears throat> excuse me, externally uh, to yourself or to loved ones, that's different. But if it's a normal holiday season and you get spun up and spun out with stress and stuff, that, that's on you. You can control that. You might appear like a dick a little bit because you're just standing your ground on boundaries and expectations. But people will 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 learn to respect that as you evolve and become something a little bit different than what they're used to. Enjoy your evolution. Enjoy the holidays. Um, and just remember the holidays are for enjoyment, not for self-persecution. All right. Do these things. Follow us uh, here at Game Out with Jackson Stewart. We'll see you next week. And as always, keep it sexy and game on.